Hi, it's Xavier, and welcome to the great awesoming of this Rimworld Viking colony. By which I mean, oh my god, what has happened here? This place is such a disgrace. Like, half the map is covered in blood. Okay, so here's the plan. I want to grow a million rice. I want to build a shrine to Odin for sir, keeping me alive a long time ago. I want to figure out why I have random armor and stuff out in the middle of nowhere. I want to bring it back, probably. Uh, I want to build, like, a medicine room slash actual place to recruit multiple people. And I want to build some corn. I want to get this caravan request done. I want to go pick pick up uh, whoever that human was, like, at the nearby colony as soon as I possibly can. I want to have some silver on hand so I can buy back Addison if he gets ransomed. <laughs> And I want to get rid of all these stupid issues right here. So, how do we do all of this? Well, number one is probably food and breakers, I think. So, Stejo, Oh, hold on. Medieval arms and armor merchant from the crowned grasshopper. Oh, hello. Greetings, friends. We will trade with you. The trader, known as Nisa, is going to be the one who does that. We'll have her go down there, maybe even right now, and talk to you. Meanwhile, we need a manager. Let's get rid of these uh, issues over here. Let's put uh, me on managing as like a number two priority. Very high. Awesome. That's taken care of. Apparently, uh, Addison was doing it before, but he was murdered or captured or whatever. Next up, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Stejo lacks a ranged weapon. Can we give him a bow in his offhand? Did he drop one at some place? I have no idea. Let's have him come out here and equip this. Oh, Brawler will be unhappy. That's the problem. He's set to hunting. Uh, because I had done this in the last episode, let's take him off of that, and everybody else goes back on three by shift right clicking, bam. One less issue to deal with. Low food, we're gonna deal with in just a second. I was one of the cooks, and so was Christine. I, tick and I had taken someone off. I think it was Zera. Let's put Zera on a two then. Awesome. So now we have a, a second cook to deal with this, uh, ridiculous backlog of food. Hold on, what's going on here? This is my trading. All right, what are these? Oh, Cassie, the weaver, a 45-year-old human male, or female, rather. Who are you all about? You're a character who's an optimist with a green thumb. I could use a grower right now. I will be honest. I could use one. Uh, a minor constructor, crafter, this wouldn't necessarily be bad, all of these things. Can I afford you, though, is the question. Who, where were you again? $2,000 for you. I have $2,800. Talent Breaker, poor. Talent Breaker, charge 10 MG, camel header tunic. What can we sell to these guys? We can sell them buns for $55. Buns is only worth $55. <laughs> oh, Lord. That sucks so much. Uh, Mega Sloth Wool Gambeson. I think that used to be Nisa's old thing. I think she dropped it, but it's beaten up now. Let's sell it. These wooden plates, we can build new ones. They're down to 58% because I left them out in the rain or whatever. All of these cloaks, uh, winter cloaks, I don't think we're going to use these for a while. Let's just sell them all. Bam, get a bunch of money here. Wooden bracers, poor, 86. Wooden boots, shoddy. And otherwise, that's all we have except gold. I do have a lot of value of gold, though. But I could use that gold in my shrine, which is probably more important to me. Devil Strand tribal boots. Oh, that's kind of cool. These things, these things look pretty cool, all of these things. All right, so here's the deal. I want to make $62. I honestly don't have anything of real value to sell to anyone, and I can either afford this one character or the other character I want to go pick up. And I kind of want the other character because she was amazing, as I recall, even though I forget her stats. So we're just going to let this go as it is. Unfortunately, they wouldn't buy our leathers or anything like that. I think we can sell them to the next uh, the colony, wherever we go for that in a minute. Shoddy, shoddy. Can we haul these things urgently? They have to go like five inches. Like, come on. Tattered Apparel on Stejo. Stejo, what's your character's Tattered Apparel issue here? The issue is you're wearing tribal wear. Actually, that's a good issue to bring up because we haven't... Um, how's my research doing here? We're researching improved stuff. We do have medieval tailoring systems. Have I built the medieval tailoring room? Not that I can tell. No. Uh, let's go to furniture production. Where are we with this? thought it would be in here. Did I not research it? Oh, it's under medieval. Right. Sorry, that's a whole different thing. Crafting station, tailoring station. Yeah, I haven't even put it anywhere, is what's going on. So I need to move, I need to make my bazaar and my hospital to get this stuff out of here so I can make like this over here, my tailoring station. For now, could I stick it in someplace? Like just a temporary thing? Because you can actually move these benches. You can't move the other ones, which makes no sense now that I think about it. But you can move these ones. I can't really, I could like jam it in here. 
And I mean, like, really jam it, but I'm not even sure if we could use that. Nope. Not enough stored. We need one tools. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna have to let this slide for now. This tight out of power will have to get fixed a little bit later. And starvation, that's the big issue. I'm gonna have to wake myself up. Do we have a lot of food? We have no meat anywhere. So let's get me up and prioritize butchering right now. Zera, you're gonna go out there and rearm the barricades. Okay. That that's probably close to done then. Psychic Sue, thanks, game. You're you're really making the game easy on me. They're like, please go go like harder on me, because this is too easy. Let's see, wearing wooden bracers, Zera. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay, great. You and you drop your old ones over here that were awful 91. Alright, whatever. Who cares? Feeding pork to buns. Well, before we feed pork to buns, hold on, where the hell did I go? I'm still butchering. Zera, would you mind just just uh refueling the stove for a little bit and then maybe hauling this somebody haul this thing? Not Stejo, he's busy at the moment. Um, what are you up to? You're sleeping? We're the town emergency. Cannot well you'll never do hauling. Never mind, Nisa, you're kind of like about to go on a mental break. Stejo, don't eat that. Come over here and haul this thing stuff out of the way for like five seconds. Great. Now we can grab this meat and we can haul that urgently. And then maybe we can get even more meat over here and haul that urgently or something. Let's get me over here and cook a few stoved things. Stejo's busy consuming cat meat. Ugh. Let's refuel the, the stove hearth. I swear we're going to get some food cooked in just a second here. Zetter is having some alcohol to cope with the tough times. What the hell's going on? Stejo's going out there. I'm refueling the stove because it hasn't been fueled in so long. That makes some sense. Okay, Stejo, stop eating the meat. Go on alert. Me come, can't cook at the thing. Need meat. We have meat right here. We have four pork. I got, I got meat right here. Pork. Prioritize. I'm just going to cook over here. I don't know. For whatever reason, I can't make meals there, but I can make them here. Um, Don't eat that. Just two seconds, guys. And there's going to be f food for both of you guys. Hold on, Stejo. What are you eating? I think you're eating like something you shouldn't be. There you go. You can go have that. Now I'm going to cook up some more meat. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I, all I know is that Zera is sleeping. Zera needs to wake up and butcher. We got a lot of things out here, animals that need to be butchered. And then once we get all that stuff butchered and the meals going, we'll be good. Let's get this thing out of the way. Yep, keep hauling. I know everything's a mess. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. We're going to get the show on the road in just a second here. Where am I? Cooking is... Oh, this is what I like to see. Me and Zera. She's butchering up things. I'm cooking the, the meals up. Awesome. There. So f the major break risks are gone. The starving issue is gone. We have a modicum of meals. We still have low food. Minor break risks. Stejo and Zera. Probably because we're waking them up. Urgently hungry. Ate a corpse. Oh, wow. When did that happen? Observed rotting corpse. Uh, you know what? It might be time... Let's grab all these corpses here and haul them urgently. We have a little bit of food for the uh, the afternoon, so this will work enough, I think. We'll get out there and deal with this. Then I want to make sure these walls are getting put in like one of the... Oh, I can't put them in any more than that. All right, we'll have to come down here. Nope, sorry, that's not what I want there. Can I, what was going on here? Cancel whatever this was. It was like a mine and a build. I just want to build... I can't build that there? Why not? Oh, because it... Can I can't... Oh, because it's soft soil? This is so much less strong than the old one was. Which really worries me. Oh well. <clears throat> At least this room looks cool. We got that going for us. Uh, now then, growing season. Right, everybody's got to do growing after cleaning and plant cutting, and we need to really do growing like right now. Um, can you do growing at all? No. Let's put growing up to a one on everybody. We'll take that off really quick. I think I want to send someone with our money to go trade. Just one person. Who is the best person to go do the trading? Whoever can't do the growing arm, um, that's going to be you. Are you okay? Do you need to be tended to? No, you're fine. All right, let's let's hit up the world map here. I definitely want that character. I hope they're still around. Let's form a caravan. We're going to send arm um, on what potentially could be a very, very, very bad mission. We're going to send him with one Mufalo. Wonderful. Let's go to the items here. We're going to bring some stuff to trade. We're going to... Well, this is going to take forever, actually, if I try to do this legitimate. 252 deer hide mufalo leather. Wow, we got a, actually a lot of stuff to sell. We got actually a lot of stuff to sell. Wow. Look at all these hides and stuff. Let's pack up all of that stuff into the caravan. It's gonna take a long time, but I think the people will help us with this. And, or the people in the colony will help packing up all this stuff. Do we want to pack up some of these weapons as well and bring those to go sell? I th think so. I mean, where else are we gonna sell them, right? 
Let's grab all these toques. We don't want any of that stuff. That's fine. And then probably Pila Good will sell. Pila Good, Great Bow Poor. Pretty much all these weapons here. I think they're going to buy these things. I don't want to sell the crossbows, though. I think they're good. Oh, the recurved bows. Those are kind of like the fan favorite, by which I mean I like them. Uh, wooden speeder. That's actually, for some reason, worth a ton of money. This sword looks pretty good, but the rest of this stuff, uh, not so much. You know what? Let's just sell everything else in the colony. Uh, hopefully, we get all this stuff packed into the caravan. I don't even know if it's even going to work, but we'll see. Do we have any food to bring him? Uh, we can bring the two jerk meats, 1.4 days of food. That's actually all we really need. And then we'll exit out the south. Let's accept. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go. All right, now. Hopefully, these, these guys help Arm um, package up. And then we get on the show here. Actually, he's not really going to need that much help. He's really close here to the one Mufalo. He'll be able to get this done pretty efficiently. I do feel like Zera probably needs to work the whole live long night here on the stove. But that's going to require a wood. And the wood is, of course, a thousand miles away. Also, we keep running by all these corpses. Can we please haul those urgently? Just get them out of there. Get them out of here. We're going to have to get these other things butchered pretty soon as well. Great. Zera's refueled the stove. Now she's actually helping to gather supplies, which is really nice. Save a bit of time there. All of this stuff has to get gathered up here. But luckily, the Mufalo seems to have randomly wandered in here, which is fine. And Zera is helping out now. Stejo's just feeding raw meat to buns. Oh, God. Zera, please. Oh, you can't cook. You need materials. We have meat right here. What the hell's the problem this time around? Cook simple meal. Cook simple meal. We got meat. Oh, because it's not within the range. Uh, so the meat has to be hauled over there urgently. Let's grab all this meat and haul it urgently. Zera, if you'd be so kind as to prioritize where Stito's already doing it. All right. Well, as soon as he gets done with that, then we can go cook. We got to get our hauling system in place here. Now Stito's feeding Buns more raw meat. Now Buns has gotten sp food poisoning from raw meat. I honestly thought, okay, never mind. Zera, come over here grab this thing. Caravan, is it ready, ready yet? It looks like it got pretty close to ready, and then Zedra get over there and cook. Um, what are you up to, friend? You're eating your meal. That's not bad. Now you're going to go repack the Mufalo. No, we still got a little bit of packing here to do. Actually, kind of a lot of packing, to be entirely honest. It's just Om. Um, poor Om. Um. Everyone else would help out with hauling if they, like, had the opportunity to do so. But we're not really giving them that opportunity. Uh, Bunz's room is going to need to be taken care of. Major break risk on somebody. Stejo. That makes sense. He is hauling headless rotting corpses around the house. So where the heck am I, though? I'm... No, I'm the one who's hauling those headless rotting corpses around. All right, let's have me come over there. Stejo does have a high five in the hallway. That sounds good. Let's have Stejo come in and clean Bunz's room up from all his blood from cutting himself. That's like, that's like erase this memory from him so he can get past it and heal and become a valuable member of our society once he has been integrated. Wow, that was a lot of blood. Stejo couldn't even clean it all in one fell swoop. Um, how you doing, friend, on all this caravan packing? Surprisingly, you're doing okay. You're still gathering supplies. Yeah, we have all these random swords that were laying all over the universe. And now you're f gathering supplies from really all the way up there. That's, that's just a ginormous waste of time. All right, fine. So, oh, Stejo and myself have now gotten to planting the fields. Great, Zera. You know what? I was going to say go out there and, and make the food. I'm going to say it anyway. Even though I, I keep waking up early, let's make the food. That's actually first, if at all possible. Will you do cleaning? Prioritize. Just clean this room up to reduce the infection chance or whatever. Food poisoning. And just crank out as many simple meals as possible. Wonderful. Now we're getting some. How long do this meat spoils? One day, less than a day. Okay, so we're going to have some major issues here. Everyone wants to go do all that. No, don't consume the elk, elk meat. We really need... Um, we really need Zera on not growing number one. In fact, let's put everybody on growing number two because we really need the cooking to get done first. Great, that is getting done. A lot of this meat is going to spoil very soon if we don't get on the cooking, so let's get myself... I'm butchering, not a bad idea, but let's cook some more of this meat up. Let's, let's cook what we have now and then butcher what we have, like what's remaining outside later. And then let's hope that stuff doesn't rot. Meanwhile, what the hell is Am doing? Moving a caravan still. He's been doing that for like three days. Oh, he's actually leaving the map though. So this isn't, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I forgot uh, the caravan. Hold on, form the caravan. Hold on, uh, Am. Um. Can I click on you and cancel the forming of the caravan? No, great. Let's go to the world map, form the caravan again. 
I forgot I need to bring the money. Uh, whoopsie daisy. We'll bring that same moofalo. And we'll bring, like, all the jerked meats. Wonderful. Uh, all the same stuff we had before, which I believe is still in the moofalo. And we don't need to repack it. But this time, let's add in all the silver except. And confirm. I hope this works the way that I want it to. I hope he's just going to go pick up the, the, the silver and go. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, I'm gonna have to really work through the night here. I know we're super, we're super tired and exhausted, but honestly, we're just gonna have to cook at the stove with Zera and myself at the two different places. Convert this, like all this meat, into meals before it's too late. Just convert it all, guys. Haul all the meat urgently. Wonderful. What am I doing now? I'm probably gonna go cook more meat. That's fine. Let's actually haul meat instead. God, Zera just refuses to stay awake for five straight days. Why can't she just stay awake for five straight days? Elk meat. Fine, Stejo, wake up, wake up, haul the elk meat, please. Please, Zera took like a five minute map. That's all she needs. That's all she needs. Let's get her on the stove, guys. Oh, what are you up to? You're actually sleeping. It says forming caravans sleeping. Okay. Well, I guess that's how you form caravans in this game. You just take a nap outside in the dirt. Sure, why not? All right, yeah, we did need to plant like five days ago, but of course we were way too busy with, you know, a million other things happening. So that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. There's a lot of stuff to plant too. I'd like everyone to be doing it, but we got to go through these meals as fast as possible. Aha! The gods removed their merciful gift. The gods are just. What are you talking about? They removed their merciful gift. What the hell is this game on about? Let's go cook at the stove though. Caravan finally ready. Wonderful. Let's go check it out. Uh, jump to the location. That before I do anything with this caravan, let's make sure all the stuff that I want is in it. And it is. Okay, wonderful. Whoops, back to the world map. Grab that there, caravan. And to come down here to visit, we're going to be 0.68. I should have went off the southwest, because now we've got to go all the way around. But whatever, it's only half a day either way. So we'll get there and back, like, by tomorrow. This is actually awesome, watching everyone pull in all these things, all the meat. Uh, myself and Zera working like all the live long day here. Zera is now cloud watching. That's a good idea, but let's do it a little bit later. More important things like this meat getting cooked. Very important. As soon as these things get below 20% stockpile, Stija will have his prior whole priority kick in and he'll run out there and throw the meat down. That's actually really awesome. Zera is doing the same thing. Arnisa is doing the same thing over here for this thing. Now I'm going to bed. And honestly, I feel like, well... Maybe how long did this meat last? Less than a day. I can't. I can't do this. I gotta. Let's go. Reserve by no. Zara, go. I'm gonna go do that. Zara, you're already over here. Just cook. Just cook all the meats. All the meats. Stejo, come down here, if at all possible. No place to store this elk meat. Why not? Because it's because we have this meat here that's in the way or something. I guess we're working on it. Hold on. Now we've got malaria apparently. What the heck? Is, are we in the caravans on the road? No, who got malaria? Stejo's gotten sick from malaria. Alm has gotten sick from malaria. Well, that's just beautiful. Good timing. I really, really, I have some... Oh, no. My deers and such rotted out here. No. Oh, that corpse is out there as well. We probably want to haul that urgently. I did not want them to rot and go to waste. Good animals completely wasted. But I tried my very best there to get... Oh, elk meat 7 is rotted. Elk meat 38 is rotted. It's all rotting away now. Nothing I can really do about it at this point. We got as much of it as we possibly could. And there is indeed at least now some meals. I have 27 simple meals. I still have 241 meats, though. How did I get that many? Oh, I guess there's 75 over there. I took like a five-minute nap. I think that's good. Let's get me making some meals, huh? Also, now that I only have five, or I guess six colonists, that's 12, 36 of these total. Let's go down to 32 on all the meals. Elk meat 55 has rotted away in storage. Yeah, that's not surprising. Let me grab this meat here, put it on haul urgently. Zara, as soon as you're done, let's have you... I can't, cons I can't, I just can't haul it urgently for whatever reason. I guess this thing is in the way. And she's going to do 10 at a time then as a result of that. Can we haul that urgently? And have her come down here and just very quickly prioritize. Nope. Can't do it. Although I should have had that very clean a long time ago, to be honest. But whatever. Oh! Zetra and Nisa just had a little heart there. Hold on. They're both females, though. What's all this about? Was wooed by Zera. Nisa rejected the advance. Interesting. Very many uh, things going on romantically in the colony, it would seem. A mobile caravan. One of your caravans is a mobile because it carries too much. Oh, no, it doesn't. 
Does it, actually? And so it's been sitting there the whole time and I didn't even realize? How do I... Items. Okay, 108. Oh, come on. We're like 0.3 over the, over the limit here. Really? What's like the least valuable thing? I wish this interface was better in this regard. I'm gonna have to drop like 0.3 kilograms. Oh, oh, and the autosave had to come up as well. Let's drop this here. Abandon all. Abandon, let's just abandon all the emu leather. Yeah, sure, abandon it. Great, now we're on the road again. That was, I had no idea. So that we should have been there already and we just sat outside the whole day because it was apparently 0.03 too heavy. You can either move at full speed or not at all. Elk meat's rotting away. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, we did as good as we could here for meats. Uh, we still have yet to bury Christine. Alm has act. Whoa. Alm actually got malaria and he hasn't been tended yet and no one can tend to him. Oh, no. 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 Uh, no. Self tend. Will that just work, please? Just please work. Just don't die from malaria. Steedro, 6860. You're actually really close. Okay, um. Come back to frigging town. <laughs> this is so annoying. So annoying. So annoying. So annoying. All right, um, go rest in, t in bed. Who is my best of workers or whatever? Medicines again, I forget now. It looks like we're actually going to potentially die from malaria. So we're going to have to really step our game up here. Let's go to medicines. The Alm and Zera. So Zera, you're going to have to take care of Steedro, and you're going to have to take care of Alm. Um, you're going to have to do it with the best medicines in the world. Um, get right up there next to Steedro. We got really good medicines on both accounts. Come on, guys. Am I going to have to repack that caravan? I think I might, actually, when the, if the Mufalo gets up there. Zera, right now, go tend to Alm. Um. Wake up. Get over there. Tend to him. Great. I think I might actually not have to repack this thing as long as no one else unpacks it. Is that how it works? Or does it just start, like, throwing it up all over the ground or something? Which it, I don't know. Guess we'll see soon. Uh, um, was tended to very well. 7160. He'll need to be tended to in 12 hours. And then another 12 hours over here. I'm, I'm, hmm. I don't know. Let's just make sure we don't unpack this Mufalo because I, I want to bring that guy down there and back. Tattered apparel, major break risk, Zera. I know, I've woken up Zera 3,000 times, like, to do a million things here. Joy deprived, rebuffed by Nisa, disturbed sleep, and a little bit of pain. I know. I know, she'll wake up and have some joy tomorrow. It's actually not that bad. Things could be worse here. Could be worse. We're gonna run out of the meats in just a sec. I think we're actually out of the meats now, and it's gonna be full-on plant day all throughout the colony. Let's check on the immunities here. 71, 63, 7 hours. 71, 64, 7 hours. These are actually way worse than I would have liked, to, to be entirely honest. Lots and lots and lots and lots of plant sowings, and we're like six, we're like a whole half season late on this. Extremely bad. Are we even going to beat the malaria, honestly? Three hours? Four hours? I wonder. Who's a major break risk? Zera, I know. But she's she's having some fun now. Relaxing socially, having some alcohol. Her mood's skyrocketing. Joy is coming up. She's got an awful bedroom, but, you know, I, I won't disturb her anymore. In a little pain, I don't think I can do anything about that. I mean, that's just... That's just the reality of being scarred on your torso for life, I suppose. Everyone here is scarred for life, it seems. Okay, 0.5 hours. Is that right? We're going to need you over here, like, really quick. I'm feeling like 7266. We may not even be able to keep these guys alive using the good medicine. Oh, there we go. What are you doing, Zera? No, no, no. Tend to uh, um. Oh, first of all, why are we tending to him with the regular herbal meds instead of the good meds? They're right here. Medicine times five. We're just using herbal meds. Can you only use herbal meds to tend to these things? Stijo needs to be tended to. And yeah, we're just using herbal meds. And I'm not sure why, because when I click on health, I have good meds selected. I guess I'll go straight to Glitter World and maybe that'll happen. Maybe that's why these things aren't getting tended to well. Malaria is just going to keep us in bed for days. I could send someone other than Um out on the road. 
But, you know, I really need everyone else here for the most part. Nisa, while you're there recruiting, just please clean up the room a little bit. We don't want buns going on mental break again. Also, this... Well, I guess we're not cooking anything, so we don't need to clean that room. It doesn't make any difference right now. Let's just get out and plant the fields. Sow all the fields. Let's try to get at least one good harvest here. How long till this caravan's done? It says 28 days, but I don't know when it started, so who knows or even where it's from. Village of Shanrum. Let's go check that out. Where is the village of Shanrum? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So I have 15 days left to bring them a million rice. But I really wanted my extra grower during the grow season, but I wanted Om to go out there, but then he got malaria, like, out the door. I guess it's actually a good thing that his caravan got weighted down. Although technically not, because he would have been out and back before he even came into the base again. So, I don't know. 75, 71... 78, 72. This is dicey, really. I have no idea if this is going to work out. I think it will, but I don't know for sure. Guess we'll find out soon. Uh, we still have this field to sow as well, and all of that field, and this field, and this, like, remainder of the field, and all of these fields. So... There's a lot of... a lot of growing to do. Oh, uh, right now... Oh, there we go. Stijo is now tending to arm um, with a good medicine. For whatever reason, we had to use that one instead of, like, the normal one. Now, Stijo, you yourself need to go rest until healed, and Zera has to come in here and... Oh, nope. Actually, arm's um, taking care of it. That's probably fine. Bam! Now, I think those two good treatments alone should be enough. Yeah, let's go back here, and let's go back there. Great. Eating some meats, hanging out, talking. Now we should be having much better, I think... Immunity gains. We're at 80, 75. Arms at 77, 74. I mean, I could send them out there and back. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Nisa, what are you up to? You're coming over here. Feeding up buns. Great. What's everyone else doing? We still haven't buried Christine yet? Did I not? I did build the sarcophagus. Uh, did I not? What's going on with that? Uh, assign the colonist. She's been sitting here forever. Uh, let's grab me, and I'll have me... Where the hell... Where the hell is she? Right here. Where am I? Right there. Prioritize burying her. I could also strip her of her gear, because most of it's not dead bands, but it's pretty beaten up anyway, so I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna um, have me come over here and prioritize burying her. The colony will get a little bit of a mood buff for that. That sucks. She sat out here rotting away for days. Oh god, right next to a guy who just turned into a corpse. And I think was, like, being eaten by a rabbit. Yeah, I want to get minus the 5,000 penalty for walking by 8,000 corpses there. But it's going to be brief. And she's buried. Wonderful. What is the artwork here? Defeated Tyranny. An engraving on this sarcophagus represents Christine staggering around drunk while holding back vomit. Guy has such good memories of her. There is a trail of discarded beverage containers behind her. The work has a detail-oriented feeling and a very dynamic structure. A fortune teller sits in the background. <laughs> this, this illustration refers to Christine's extreme drunkenness on the 2nd of December. I don't really remember that, but I do know that Am um, is now uh, ahead here on the immunity gain. Oh, and bam, there goes Stijo. He, too, has passed the immunity gains, so he's, uh, he's above the, uh, the death threshold as long as we get relatively decent treatment consistently. Bandit camp opportunity. Uh, these guys want us to go do another bandit camp and they'll give us a thrombo horn. I don't care about thrombo horns. Why does everyone think they're good? They're worth $800. You get like 2,900 silver or $800 worth of something you can sell. Like, who cares? Makes no, mo no sense. Like, why would I ever do that? All right, moods are looking good. I'll need some tending to. Is someone working on that? No, because he's out here eating a meal, but he should. Now he's going to go play a game. Um, for God's sakes, you got malaria, friend. You got advanced malaria. Get in bed and, and see to, like, your recovery here. What are you thinking? I'm going to go play games. You're only 1% beating it. Stijo actually just got majorly patched up there, but it looked like Zara. I'm um, kind of the short end of the stick, honestly. 79.81. Yeah, it's really fun to have my characters sitting here for days when I wanted them to go out and do caravanning, but oh well. Oh well. Now I got three people doing the grows. Maybe I should send someone out. But everybody else can grow, though. So anyone I send out to that could grow to go get somebody to grow is going to be like a, a net loss, I think. 
81, 82. This is so close, I don't really want to send Arm out. I'm thinking of just sending him, like, like treating him and then immediately sending him, but it seems like a bad idea. Okay, what are we eating up here? We still have 20 simple meals. We've got a decent amount of jerked meats. We're going to need like a massive stockpile of that stuff for the winter. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get that together before the winter. I suppose we'll see. 83, 84. God, this malaria is really... I mean, Steejo is doing great. 78, 85. But Arm um is like neck and neck almost going to die the whole time. You know what, Steejo? We're going to send you. We're going to send you with your Forester Zax. Let's get you down there, friend. Form a caravan. We're going to bring Steejo. We're going to bring that one Mufalo with all the ingredients packed on it. We're going to bring like... Uh, two days worth of simple meals. We're gonna additionally maybe pack a few things we can sell, like a go juice and some more hides. And actually, no, we can't pack any of that stuff because we're over the weight limit, right? So even the food might put us over the weight limit, and I won't know until I get out of the map. But we do need the silver. And I'm not sure if I had the silver before, and the silver might weigh a lot, to be honest. It says 31.74 in the caravan config, but the, the Mufalo is still full of stuff, so... Let's go to the southwest. Except, I don't know. I mean... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Stejo. Uh, cancel the formation, right? Let's go to the world. Let's form the caravan. Let's send Stejo with both the Mufalos. Then we don't have to worry about it. We'll send him with like two days worth of simple meals, all the silver, and then we can send him with all the hides. We can send the go juice because we're not going to want it. And otherwise, I think we're good. I don't want to run around too much. So let's do this off the southwest. No, not northwest. I want to go southwest this time, except a confirm. A wonderful. Okay, so he'll pack up both the Mufalos. We just got a new caravan request. This time they want 300 corn. They'll give us the Happy Merchant Awful. Whatever the hell that is. Okay. Well, we might do that. I mean, it's going to be a little while till I get my corn even planted, so it doesn't seem like it's going to happen, to be honest, but whatever. All right, Stejo looks like he's ready to go. He's got his Mufalos. He's high-fiving Zera on the way out of here. Zara is planting the trees of all things. You know what? Can we uh, disallow sowing of those trees for the time being? Speaking of, we have no wood. Let's hit up the world map now. Let's grab the Steedro caravan and let's visit the village of Shamron. 0.4 days. No problem. Unless we get raided. Also, yeah, I think he'll be fine with no treatment. He's got 80, 84, right? But just in case, let's grab him, click this button, click that button, click this button, and click that button. Because that makes a lot of sense. Let's see if he actually treats himself or not. I don't know. 86, 88 here. Even if he doesn't, I think he'll be fine with the immunity. He's 7% ahead. He's only going to be gone for one day. And I think he left early enough that he'll actually get back, like, before tonight. Doesn't look like he is actually tending to himself, though. Yeah, he's just walking down the road with malaria. With, like, 82% developed major malaria. <laughs> don't worry, Cedro. You got this. Uh, I don't- I just sent my brother to do these tasks. How he manages them, it's up to him. If he doesn't make it back, yeah, it's his own fault. I, I gave him a task. He, could he do it? I don't know. We'll see. Simple meat. Six simple meals have rotted away. Apparently I overmade them. We're down to two simple meals now. We've only got apparently four of the jerky, but I'm realizing now that this is not uh, being counted. Not that it really matters. Hit the world map really quick because Tito's almost in here. Take a look at his t tending. 85. He's 6% ahead. Um is like 3% ahead. Come on, Steejo. Hit this up before the end of the night, friend. I guess you're going to be camping overnight either way. Which is unfortunate because that means you're probably not going to tend it or something. Okay, you're there. Let's trade. Hold on. All right. These are the guys who want rice. I need to bring them rice in the near future. Steejo's not the best, like, talker. But we can buy Born. Wonderful. We came here for Born and we will leave with Born now. What can we sell these guys? All our dumb leathers we don't want. Sell them, sell them, sell them. We can do something with late or like our other leathers later. Sell the go juice. We don't want none of that. This they have so many cool things. Sell all these random things here. Not your forester's axe, obviously, and probably not like a recurved bow, because you're gonna need one. I guess you're not even using one, so we'll just sell all of it. Fine, you're a brawler, right? You don't have one. Anything else we can sell? Yes, we get the toques. We'll sell those off. Look, we're actually doing okay here in this trade. 
I mean, we're not doing fantastic. We're still losing a bunch of money, but this means I'm still going to have about 1,300 silver remaining, and I think that might be enough to ransom Addison if they call me up and demand a ransom. And this is probably as good as I can do. Let's accept, and let's uh, head on back. Awesome. Super awesome. And now we have Born. Born, welcome to the colony. You are the new... How the hell do I do... Okay, so click... Okay, click on this button, click on that button, this button, this button, that button, and Smegma. Minus the capital M. Smegma. Okay, close. Wonderful. Hope you get back here soon, but until you do, I'm not going to worry about it so much. Let's go over there and zoom out a little bit. Our rice is coming along. We've seen corpses out there. This is all planted. Hops are all planted. The only thing that's not planted is the... Oh, the hops zone was unallowed for some reason. And the corn zone. Okay. Should have planted that a long time ago. So I'm sure we don't have too much more alcohol. Yeah, we're, our stores are getting low. That's for sure. We cannot have the alcohol stores getting low. Unacceptable! Or whatever. That was a good rendition, I'm sure. Oh, Stejo, either he did tend to himself, or Born tended to him. I'm not sure which one. Either way, I want to remember to shut off his self-tend for now. And there we go. Smegma's already hot. She must be wearing one of those winter cloaks. Severe illness on arm. Yeah, I recognize that. He's at 91% malaria with 97% immunity. He's fine. Cedro's at 87 with 96% immunity. He's fine, too. It might be that treating people reduces the speed at which the malaria gains and the immunity stays the same. I forget. I know some of them work like that. Some of the diseases. Oh, it's a raid! Group of barbarians. They're going to prepare for a while and then they're going to attack. Where to look? Oh, barbarians, huh? They look like barbarians, too. This guy looks like Faleg. Good lord. One, two, ooh, I can't count. Uh, for God's sakes, guys, can you maybe spread out a little bit so I'd have some idea what's going on? Oh, for God. Uh, how long until we're back here with Stejo? Uh, 0.3 days. I'm not sure if he'll be back in time. Probably not. How are the defenses looking? Not fantastic. Could we potentially reinstall this ballista over there? Maybe somebody, like, super fast. And otherwise, Alm is, like, completely incapacitated right now. Okay, now I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, I just gotta kill five of them. These guys legit look like barbarians, though. Like, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Uh, the whole colony is gonna... Oh, yeah, Am is completely incapacitated until he beats this. He's at 98, 99. I put the crossbow down there. We only have three fighters in the town right now, it looks like. So... Zera, get in here. Me, get in here. And Nisa sowing a hops plant. No, probably equip man the ballista. We do not have many people here. Um, we need you to, to get up that or we need Stejo. You need to get on the road here, friend. Come on. 0.3 days away. These barbarians, hopefully they just get distracted for 0.3 days. I don't think so. This is like a race against time. If Stejo comes in with a flank at the best possible opportunity, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing, but will he? Point three. Oh, nope, never mind. They're coming. We didn't even get to the point three days. Om is completely incapacitated at 100%. Well, it says 100%, but it's actually 99% immunity. It was 100% in Moody, but 99 in the, in the panel. Come on, Om. We need you to wake up right now, friends. The barbarians are literally at the gates. Oh, wonderful. They took a few wallops here, but now they're coming through what looks to be my walls. Rather than being dumb and allowing me to kill them with traps. So I'm screwed probably really badly here. All right, Marcus, Zera, me. Nisa can't even shoot because, oh, no, the crossbow is turning around. Once these guys get through the walls, we're doomed. We are doomed. Nisa, just get down here and shoot with your... Can you even shoot this thing right now? Operating turret. It's... No, you can't. Just get down there and shoot. Can you shoot from where you are? No. Critical alert, fire. Where's this fire? I don't know. Up the oh my god, they burnt Christine's sarcophagus to the ground! We will wreck these guys! Although I don't know how. Uh, maybe if I came down here a little bit and like we shot through the door at Aoubs or whatever. Oh god, come on guys, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Like, or here or something. Zera, get over there. Oh, perfect. I just got through the door finally. Oh, there we go. Now we're learning these guys a lesson or two. 
Come on. These these ballistas don't work out as well as I'd like them to. Nisa, you can go off of alerts and man the ballista really quick and just take a shot out there at Fort. If you'd be so kind as to set the force target here on... Oh, Nisa. Nice shooting, Tex. All right, get off of that really quick and come down here. I'll uh, shoot around the corner at Nielsen or whatever. This wall is holding these guys at the gates, and we have succeeded. We have six, and now Arm um, finally is capable of standing up again. Bowman was just knocked out. Let's go over here and see if we can take out one more of these guys. Steedra, where the heck are you? You're, oh, you're so close to coming home. You're so close. Guys, they did break through the walls, but just in the nick of time, we're good. All right, the rest of you guys get off of alerts. Now, we got three people to capture. Uh, potentially. We need to re refill our ranks here. So furniture, sleeping spot. One, a two, a three. I need to do so many things, it's ridiculous. Let's grab me and come. I'm not even going to look at these. Well, I guess I'm going to look at them. First, chances of death. 12 hours. Vort is five hours. Beryl, 12 hours. I don't know where the other one was. Was it just you three? Maybe? All right, Vort, your death is soonest. What do you got for me? You're a psychopath, jealous, fast walker. That means you're incapable of plant work and dumb labor. Those are the things I want you to do. I guess you could clean. You can also do mining, cooking, construction, medicine, social. You're okay. You could walk around in the colony, but you couldn't do dumb labor, which is what we really want. Bowman, you are a fantastic shooter and a cook. That's great. And it looks like Beryl here, you like the shooting and you like the growing. That's great. All right, let's have me come down here and capture the Beryl. Anissa, come down here and capture the Bowman. And then Vort will figure out in just a second. But let's go over to war medical tabs first and take a look at... Uh, not prisoners. Oh, hold on. I didn't want to do prisoners. I wanted to do hostiles. Yeah, there is only three of them. Okay, so let's go back to colonists really quick. I have to decide here on Vort. What do I want to do with Vort? He's a terrible fighter. So this is very dangerous. But it would be great to have someone who loves medicine. But he can't do plant work. I mean, plant work's like number one priority. And animals is... Mm. Mining doesn't matter. Intellectual doesn't matter. He's just a good medicine and he's a fast walker. But honestly, I don't like him. I'm just going to let him die out there. We hate that guy. We hate that guy. So Christine's corpse is now rotting away again because the sarcophagus is destroyed. I suppose we need to bury that someplace a little bit more uh, legitimate. So why don't we do something like... Not that I have the time to do this really because there's a million other things I want to do. But what if I put like a nice little uh, alcove in here overlooking the waters, right? And we can access it through here, kind of like this. Uh, and we'll we'll mine this out later, but for now, I'll, I'll go that deep and I'll put it in there and we'll make that much bigger later. All right, Caravan 1 has arrived. Hey, friends. Welcome back, Stejo and Smegma. Good job, Smegma, taking off your cloak. Very good idea, because it was uh, probably a, a little way too hot for sure. And otherwise, we're good. We are good. Did this corn ever get sown? Nope, not even close. Growing season's here now. Sometime soon it might. Let's take a look at these guys. Will they actually get tended to? Yes, they will. Wonderful. Now, let's take a look at their recruit chances. 96% chat and recruit. Not released this time. 99% chat and recruit. Hey, if nothing else, it's going to give us a whole bunch of uh, talking skill. Three times the talking skill, basically. Also, we're going to need a lot more food and we have almost none. So, but, you know, we got rice. Rice is almost actually ready to be harvested. Now, let's work on Smegma. Welcome to the colony, Smegma. Let's go doctoring number one, patient two, two. You won't do hauling. Flicking is pretty much always a one on everyone. Wardening, I don't really want you doing it. We can have someone else do it. You do like the handling considerably, so let's put you on a three. I'll put you on a two for cooking since you seem to love it. You love the cooking, I mean, the hunting as well. We'll put that up. Construction, probably a two. Along with everyone else growing. You know, we need a two on pretty much everyone for growing right now. We'll cut it back a little bit later. Mining. You know what? You can do a two on that as well. And then all of these things. You really love all the crafting. So let's get myself off of that. And I'll do other stuff. And we'll try to have Smegma be like the de facto. You probably won't have her be the cook then. God, she loves so many things. It's hard. Like, take her off the cook. Uh, not one, but maybe like three, three, three or something for now. And then she'll help up with growing when she can. She can't do plant cutting, which is actually really nice for once. I guess I could just shut somebody off of that, but... Hunter lacks ranged weapon. That's probably a Smegma. Let's go give you one of these things. Disease malaria. Wonderful. Smegma, you can have this uh, crossbow, I suppose. Who got malaria this time? Nisa. Wonderful. Like, what's the deal with everyone randomly getting malaria all over the place? Like, let's turn on orders, unforbid everything. Oh, 45 minutes? No! I didn't even make... The start of... 
I wanted to do... Mm, I want to do more. I want to do so much more. Miscellaneous. Let's put the sarcophagus up here this time. Let's have... Who's the best constructor in town, right? Let's find out. Medicine, construction. The best constructor is Stejo. All right, Stejo, you come in here and prioritize working on that sarcophagus. Let's give Christine a really nice one. I know I've been making these things, but... I don't think she cared at all in life or in death. We want to get her buried before she completely rots away, which, quite frankly, is going to be soon. Uh, now, Stejo, if you wouldn't mind burying Christine, that would be awesome. We can bury her in the new place. This thing out there, let's cancel that. This was a stupid idea anyway. Mental break paranoia on Bowman. Bowman's absorbed by paranoid babbling because he is experiencing acute pain. Well, what do you expect, Bowman? I am so far behind. I wanted, I need trees. I need wood. Mental break, verbal abuse. Stejo has become a rage and is verbally abusing everyone. The final straw was rebuffed by Am. Um. Isn't Am um a male? Stejo, what the? It, your character's not gay, and yet you just run around hitting on every male in the colony. Isn't that part of the psyche thing? Kinsey rating three. I, don't, I honestly don't know what that means. I think three's in the middle. I think it goes to six or something. But well, where is Stejo? What kind of nightmarish hell is he ensuing on everyone? Someone said if you lock the doors, they won't go through, but I'm pretty sure that's not true. Let's lock the door, and I bet Stejo's gonna run over here, go through the like the locked door regardless. All these corpses need to be hauled urgently. All right. Sadly, I'm making nowhere near as much progress as I would like. But on the plus notes, I'm making nowhere near as much progress as I would like, which means there's a lot more to come. I hope, unless we just die in like the next episode. But once we're returning, Stejo verbally abuses every male in the colony for not taking off their pants. But until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Perfect. I just got through the door finally. Oh, there we go. Now we're learning these guys a lesson or two. Come on. These ba these ballistas don't work out as well as I'd like them to. Nisa, you can go off of alerts and man the ballista really quick and just take a shot out there at Bort. If you'd be so kind as to set the force target here on... Oh, Nisa. Nice shooting tech.